and we're live hi guys <laughs> hello everyone you'll notice that we look absolutely freezing cold today and that's because we are <laughs> we went out with the dog earlier and froze up well yeah yeah i think you off. were colder than everyone else i haven't warmed up yet hence i've still got the scarf on <laughs> it's not that warm in here either <laughs> so yeah we took the dog out he got filthy covered in mud then you had to bath yeah, him he's and... had another bath today it's just what palaver i know but well i, I, I enjoyed it i enjoyed the work, so. <coughs> so yeah so hello yeah. everyone anyway um, welcome do you want to say who's in because i can't see the chat hold on <laughs> right yes welcome to our live sunday show if you're new to the channel we go live every sunday and just waffle a bit about about stuff reselling and life in general <laughs> that kind of sums it up right we've got 74 viewers currently so hi everyone if i scroll back in the side chat there is a side chat if you can find it you can say hi and ask questions yeah. <coughs> i've got very tickly well right, i'm not you sure might have to if read these. you were first in peter but it does say yeah, that you're, peter was oh, you were first, first in yeah. so hi peter ray um bum crack picker um team rdm stream andrew uk devils um and that's all i can see so far so hello to everybody uh, UK Devil says, I've had no sales, but I found an extremely rare Playmobil 3977 Knight that's on eBay for over £100. What, for one figure? Wow. Really? Fantastic. Just missing the blue ice sword. So that's cheered me up. That's mad. If that's £100 for, for one Playmobil figure, maybe someone's just got it listed at 100 Is it really worth that? Is that completed? Let me know. Yeah. That's crazy. I'm sorry if my chair is squeaking. This is on the list of jobs to do next week. Oil chair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got Chelsea in there, Stu Mandry. Um, who else we got was popping in? Did you say Chelsea? Yeah. Um, I did see that. Um, Our sales have been really quiet, guys, but that's more to do with lack of work yeah. than, than anything, I think. <laughs> Scrolling down, I did see that Carla was in. Oh, okay. Um, no, I'm just catching up in the chat. Lady Lolly's in. Karen's in. Hi, Karen. I hope you're okay. Um, Dr. Doodle Do. Ben. IPTV Sports. Um, John Shiflett. Retro Cossack and Ben Smith. Stephen okay. Bennett and Lisa Fenn. Hello, Lisa. Kirsten, Joan Callum. Wow, lots and of people Sue, popping in. Hi, Sue. And Graham, Twin Red Dragons. And Simon. Simon, I still haven't tried out my... Um, CD repair machine. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and Jay Callum and Karen are in as well. And Sam Colbert. I could keep going. We're, we'll be all night. We Welcome everybody. Let's just say that. Um, I'm actually now quite warm. We I've don't just, have we don't have any a hot cup of tea. We don't have any um a hall to share. I'm, my mind went blank then. We don't no. have a hall to share. We We've don't. not been sourcing. There's been Well, we have been sourcing. Oh actually, oh god, we yeah. Have. But not for eBay. new stuff. You'll be able to see some of it here. Actually, it was all going in the loft, and I couldn't be bothered, so I've stashed it down here. We've invested roughly. I think we're at about a thousand now. Yeah. Ish. We've got yeah, a load we've of stuff found... coming from online. Uh, mm. This is buying new stock to resell. By the way, this was all bought at retail, like high street retail. We bought a shed load of stuff online. We went out yesterday and bought a stack of cosmetics, loads yeah. of Lego. DVDs. You might be able to sit. These are all DVDs that we picked up yesterday. Um, so yeah, but second hand picking up stuff, we just haven't, have we? Yeah, no, haven't done anything. Nothing at eBay all. eBay sourcing. Well, some of it's for eBay, but a lot of this most will be it's for Amazon. Yeah. yeah. It, a lot of this will be for next Christmas. So it's gonna sit there or yeah. it may get put up in the loft if I need space. So that brings us to our next first year. subject, doesn't it? Shall we just start talking about that? Yeah, I've got a load of other things to do. We'll talk about them. What, what did you it, want to talk about? I just thought it linked quite well. We were going to talk about the pros and cons of um, sourcing RA during the January sales. Go on then. <laughs> Go on then. <laughs> what were you going to say? This is news to me. <laughs> it's not news to you, isn't it? On your list. We were talking about this earlier. I thought you said we were just going to talk about what we'd picked up. No, I said about the pros and cons of it. Go on which then. Are... <laughs> 
picture that um, January sales are really good to source RA. Um, but quite a lot of it, as in our case, is for next Christmas. So um, because it's for next Christmas, it means that you have to invest quite a lot of money that you won't see again for another year. Mm -hmm. um, so you really need to have that money to be able to do it in the first place. You need to be able to afford, yeah, yeah. to tie the money up, essentially. Um, for us, we take what some a percentage of what we have made over Christmas and we then reinvest that. Um, and we do that every year. So, yeah. yeah, it's worked really well. The last sort of four or five years we've been doing that. We we cash in a load of stuff at Christmas, have a bit of a windfall and then reinvest whatever we feel comfortable reinvesting mm -hmm. and then just put it away and forget about it. And then that comes back out next Christmas and it's like a big bonus and we just cash that in. Yeah. Again. So that's the pros of it is that, you know, for Christmas time, we have a lot of really good stuff to sell. Um, but obviously the downside is that that money is tied up and that yeah you've got to wait to cash that in and you've got to store it and you've got to store we it we didn't yeah. actually have that much that christmas just gone you probably saw we, we bought down a load of stuff from the loft a load of cosmetics again and, and toys and games but we didn't have anywhere near as much as we have had previous years mm. we're thinking this year we're going to invest a lot more yeah in this sort of stuff and do a lot more stuff in bulk um and more FBA in general, I yeah. think. That's the, <laughs> that's the plan. We never stick to our plan. So no, and we did say that happens. last year as well. So um, we yeah, need to do it this year. We just stopped investing <laughs> last year. Yeah, we did. Anyway, let me see what's going on in the chat. We got more into clear out mode than invest. I'm still year. in clear out mode. <laughs> I'll share some of the stuff I've been looking at recently. In a, yeah, later. Um, fin Fashion Plus is in. That is Phoebe. Phoebe yeah. Uh, yeah, Brian's in, and also just noticed Jason Entwistle's in. So, hi guys, thank you for joining us. Uh, so, I'm just catching up in the chat. Oh, Steve and Steph are in as well. Hi guys. Hi guys. Um, I did drop you a message on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen that. So, just to let you know. Shel Staruni says, I'm really ready to get stuck into listing. That's how I feel. I'm We've kind of broken ourselves slowly back into it. Yeah, well, been... talking of you being still in clear out mode, I'm now full on in clear out mode and I'm in organisation mode as well. So I haven't actually listed anything since before Christmas and I've just been going through all the stock in, in my office and either marking it down, putting it in a charity bag or... Yeah, I, well, I've been trying to organise everything because I'd started bagging stuff up, but all the old stock wasn't bagged up. So now I'm going back through old stock. When you say bag up, you mean stuff that's listed you're putting in Yeah, putting in bags uh, with a reference bag number. With a reference number. So yeah. it's very laborious, but it's worth doing. <laughs> yeah, and we've seen a few results already from people picking up stuff you've marked down. Yeah. Um, these are going out, are they? Yeah, they're going out. What you got there? So, um, oh, um, this is what Andrea means when she says bagging up. This is, did you get this from Carla's idea? Was it yeah. or kind of yeah, similar so to what you, you do, Carla? <laughs> Even to the point where but also, um, fake Rachel does it as well. So. Yeah, it just yeah. means that it's kind of ready to go. You can stick a label on it, and yeah, yeah you have a system just, now it's where brilliant. it just works so well. Just being able to dip into that drawer, finding the item, sticking it in a poly bag, and off I go. To be fair, we had a similar system years ago when we were doing nothing but clothing. Yeah. We used to put everything in poly mailers, in grey poly mailers, and have them lined up on these. These were just full. They weren't here. They were in – we used to rent storage at that point. We had all of these just with rows and rows of bags like that with little mm -hmm. um, reference numbers written on in Sharpie on the side. Yeah, we did. But I, I love this, though, that you can sort of double bag it, and it just feels so much nicer to send out to people. Yeah, and I've had I've seen the results of that in the feedback. People have said um, it's really well packaged, and it's been, you know, they've liked the packaging. Cool. So. so were these marked down? Are these? Those are marked down. I think they're on either at thirty or twenty-five, but I've sold them for twenty. I had two pairs of Levi's. These are men's Levi's. Um, I had one pair that were indigo, and they went straight away for uh, about thirty pounds, I think. Yeah. Um, but these ones sat around for a while, so I've marked them down and now they've sold. 
Um, so I'm happy about that. Is this really old stock from when we were doing clothes before? Yeah, it is. At one point, we must have But it have hasn't had... been on that long. I just had it in storage. Oh, right. <laughs> Do you remember when we were doing clothing big style, we must have had hundreds of pairs of Levi's. Yeah, we did. Stacked up on these shelves. Yeah. And these oh. are a big size as well. So they've gone, yeah. which is good. And also thinking that I'm just going to clear out all of my kids' stock now. Um, I'm kind of over it. <laughs> um, I'm only going to pick up things that are designer or I know stuff that will fetch a good penny. Um, so this is something that I've sold in the sale. It's Baby Gap. This is old shop stock. Baby Gap. Got little devils on it, and that went for six pounds. That I'm marked it devils. right down. I for, know. For, the, for your devil baby, <laughs> who puts a baby in a little devil outfit? <laughs> yeah, so I've marked that right down, and now it's sold. And a little pair of um, shorts, the sort of warm shorts that you'd wear, with, your child would wear with tights or whatever. <laughs> I know. <laughs> warm shorts. Warm shorts. shorts for the winter, people. Here and you they, go. They went for six pounds as well. I think. Are they next? I don't know. Let's have, oh no, mother care. And they went for six pounds. Oh, these have got those cool little um adjustable elastic bits in the edges. Yeah, I brilliant. think they're really clever. So yeah. yeah. So the plan is we're we're gonna shift all the children's stuff and you've kind of moved on from kids' stuff now. Yeah, I'm as I say, I'm over it. <laughs> just so just, over that. Fair enough. It's either going to charity or yeah, yeah. or I'm marking it right down. I've so. not had many sales. Sales have been pretty poor to be perfectly honest i was happy to get rid of this this was sent to fba before christmas it was brand new mint in box um they damaged it in the warehouse and they gave me uh they refunded i don't think they gave us what it was listed for quite but they gave us a pretty good refund and then i had it returned it wasn't too bad that just somebody had stood on the box or something so it's a bit squashed stuck it on ebay and got 25 pounds for it anyway which isn't bad considering Amazon gave us, I think Amazon gave us about 20 quid because they'd damaged it in the warehouse. Got it sent back, which cost me, I think, 70p or something to get it shipped back. And then I sold it for 25 again and it owed me a fiver. So I've done okay out of that. Yeah. Um, a few bits going out to subscribers I thought I'd mention. Um, Jay messaged me, uh, Jay Bentley, uh, asked if I still had this available. I said yes. And she paid me direct through PayPal. Yeah. So that will be that's, on its that's, way that tomorrow. June? I think it's June, Bentley, isn't it? Uh, well, the message was from Jay. Oh, I, I think it's June, but yeah. No, J A Y. Oh, okay. <laughs> Honestly, believe me. Well, if you're watching June or Jay, let me know. It's Jay. I'm sure. Wow. Well, okay. <laughs> the message came from Jay. Okay. The PayPal payment was the account name was June. Yes, that's where my confusion is. Well, I'm telling you, the message was from Jay. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we've had this for ages. Weirdly, we had a pair, a very similar pair of these, didn't we? Yeah. That sold for like 40. Anyway, we like the same sort of design, same size with this sort of, what would you call that? Raised, bumpy, yeah. I can't think of the word. You know, and th this, <laughs> Some, one, someone will tell you. this one was listed for ages We and we reduced it in the sale to five pounds with three pounds shipping, so eight pound all in. Oh, and, sorry. Sounds just trying to what have, wanted to answer a, a question but I, so that will be on its way yes. tomorrow peter uh peter ray who's in the chat has ordered a couple more games these were returned from amazon as well this was stock stock that was up as up at amazon just wasn't shifting i've been up there a while um that's a really quite a nice one this is the the fat box version of loaded um and then urban chaos um peter's bought both of those i think that was on at 20 and that was on i don't know about a five or something um and i've got a little something extra that i'm going to put in the package for you peter i won't show what it is now i'll keep the surprise for you i hope you'll like it i think it's up your alley <laughs> do you know what it is no well it's there it's that one off camera okay i think right, yeah. i think you'll really like that. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so yeah those will be shipped out tomorrow peter thanks for the order and then you may remember last week we we shared that a guy, I think it was Rob, sent us those cool 80s T-shirts. Yeah. He messaged me when I was sharing the uh, sports hall and all those trophies. He's really into his gardening and stuff. And he he's messaged to see if I if he could have this, which is a gardening trophy. So I said, yeah, of course. So I've arranged with him 
and I'm sending that out. So that's cool. And then randomly, I had this listed, which is Interstellar on DVD, and another subscriber. I did write down who it was. Um, I could ever read your writing. Andrew. I could hardly read that. <laughs> you just scroll. <laughs> so thanks, Andrew, again. That'll be shipped out tomorrow. Oh, and I don't know if Tom's in the side chat. Um, Tom hooked me up with a Super Nintendo Mini. This has some of my all-time favourite games on it, including Mario Kart, Super Mario World. You may have seen I did a video when I went to stay with Tom for the weekend of us playing on this very machine. <sighs> yeah, you didn't give Tom much of a look in, did you? Well, we played Mario Kart, and that's kind of my thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So that's cool. What else are we going to talk about? Yes. Uh, well, talking about um, subscribers, etc. Um, I actually met a subscriber this week um, randomly. I was uh, took our guides ice skating with a couple of other leaders, and um, a guy said hello. He said, "I watch you and Nick on YouTube," and it was Russell. So, Russell, if you're watching, hi. It was really nice to meet you. Um, just wanted to mention that and give you a bit of a shout out. So he said that um, you'd got him into reselling. Blame Nick. Yeah. <laughs> so when you say guides, that's girl guides. You run a girl guide unit. Yeah, I do. For those not understanding. And if you're American, um, it's like Girl Scouts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. We're looking to see. I'm just that scene in the side the chat. What's going on? Oh, a lint on your chair then. It yeah, moved. <laughs> um, right. Let me scroll down a bit. Uh, there's a question there for me. Hi, Nick. Do you ever have problems with restricted items on Amazon? Uh, uh, like you buy a lot from car boots, charity shops. Do I have to buy from a wholesaler or is there a way around this? Um, everybody has issues with restricted items. Some items you just cannot resell on Amazon mm. unless you, you get that privilege open to you. So, yeah, we have issues with that. And certain complete categories we're, we're not still elig eligible to sell in. Um, thankfully, we were became ungated, as they call it, on um, health and beauty just before Christmas, which really helped us out because this sort of stuff, these cosmetics we're buying, we in the past, we wouldn't be able to sell those FBA, but now we can, which is fantastic. And they just, yeah. they just randomly let us in that. We didn't even ask, did we? But we do have res um, the, our restrictions on things like perfume and, um, yeah, sort of aerosols and anything anything like that we couldn't because we can't actually send up to fba any perfumes or anything like that yeah that's because they're fire hazard yeah um but there's also just random products for no good reason that are restricted which can mm. be frustrating um he goes on to say about um i like you buy a lot from car boots and charity shop shops do i have to buy from a wholesaler no you can just sell you stuff at fba if you want you don't have to do new stuff it just, in my opinion, works better in some ways for doing new because you can mm. send stuff up in bulk. Yeah. They have started to restrict um, CDs, haven't they? Yes. Um, and you do need a wholesaler to sell brand new and chart CDs. Yeah, it's really complicated and it doesn't apply to everything. Just look into it. Yeah, I know yeah. Tom's had a lot of issue with yeah. that. But we don't really do that we, we do a lot of second-hand cds but nothing sort of best-selling or no anything like that but it's it's a continually changing playing field really yeah. they're, they're changing the rules all the time so just yeah, yeah. if you're going to get they're, into fba be doing aware it, doing it a lot to favor private label aren't they i think i think it's going that way i know nothing about that but anyway yeah we are still pushing FBA this year. I was kind of on the fence coming into this year whether we were going to keep pushing FBA hard. I've already sent a shipment up uh, last week. And, yeah, I think we're going to do similar things this year. We're going to stockpile stuff and send it all up in October, November yeah. for Christmas. Well, I'll send dribs and drabs up throughout the year, but I think that that worked really well for us last year. So FBA just ticked along throughout the year, not really making as much money, and then we cashed in a shed load of gear at Christmas. Mm and that worked for us so yeah. that's our sort of business model in a nutshell with fba um just noticing carla's comment and talking about um clothing filing systems carla says um this system would work better if i knew the alphabet just spent five minutes rummaging in the k to o box for a dress that b 
begins with R. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no help in you, Carla. You're beyond help. Let's just face it. That's brilliant. So how does your system work? Yours is alphabetical, isn't it? Box, yes, bo at a the box, moment a I've box. got a box for each letter. Yeah. So. But that will have to probably change as it you get more will. and more stock listed. Yeah, but I've only got half the room at the moment. I've, I've got to organise the second half of the room. So I've got lots more storage we, to go. We went to Ikea, like it feels like about six months ago, and bought loads more of the little Yeah, I've been using boxes. them. But I've been half using of them, them are still stacked one, in the corner. But I've got some to go for the other side. But I have been using the ones we've bought. Well, that's kind of I your job for next got week, to the isn't it? Second half of the room yet. Yeah. Oh, next week we're we're kind of going to take the week off from the kind of reselling side of things because if you're full time self employed as we are, you you might recognise this. We never find time to do stuff because we're either working or we're out doing family stuff at the weekends. We something is always taking up our time. And when you say stuff, we mean like house stuff. <laughs> yeah, like DIY. We like our hallway. Yeah. has we've needed to replace the floor when we had this door knocked through to what this used to be our garage and we had the door knocked through the floor raised in here and this room turned to interior space there's still like bare concrete <laughs> beneath this door and we haven't laid a new floor in the hallway yeah. and we've had this converted now for what three years at least yeah yeah about three and a half years so I want to do that next week. There's jobs in the kitchen. I fitted the kitchen myself with my brother-in-law about five years ago. Um, six? Six years ago, I think. Now. There's jobs in the kitchen I still haven't finished. Um, I need to fix the doorbell, which hasn't worked for about a year. No. <laughs> and endless. Anyway, I won't bore you with the detail, but I'm going to take a whole and week chair out. Is oiling. I've got a oil chair. So, yeah, I've got a great long list of jobs and I'm just going to take a week out to give myself time to actually concentrate on them and do them. Yeah. Obviously, we're not switching off eBay, so I'll have to keep sending orders out. But because our trade is so low at the moment, because we have very little new stock listed, that won't take up much time. I've also got a new washing machine coming tomorrow, haven't we? Oh, because the washing machine decided to die. Over washing Christmas. machine died. Yeah. So we've ordered a washer dryer, haven't we? Like a combi yeah. job. Well, hoping that will help with stock issues of washing stuff. <laughs> Turn it around a bit quicker. Who yeah. knows? Well, it should help generally, didn't it? Make the whole yeah, process I quicker. Hope so. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, well, we'll see. <laughs> the bills will go up though. <laughs> That'll be fine. Yeah. Um, okay, let me scroll on. Uh, da, 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 da. Jason says, sorry, not in the chat much. Got loads to package. eBay has gone mental. Fantastic. Uh, I've just picked up 20 kilos of Lego to store. Oh, right. I've not had a big job lot of Lego for ages. I did pick up, I think I mentioned, we picked up a load of Lego bits in the sales, which was good. Um, right. Weird how Nick had a pair of mugs, now there is only one. The pair I was talking about was a different listing completely. Why Why would it be weird that you've now only got one? Well, this is a different mug. I know it's a different mug. But oh. I just, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lisa Fenn said it's moulded or 3D. 3D moulded mug. Okay, yeah. I'll bear that in mind. Uh, oh, Peter says, cheers, Nick. Can't wait to play. Yeah, I hear Loaded is a good game. I never played it, this one. Don't remember it, but I've heard good things. There was a, there was a sequel to that as well, which I think is quite rare. Um, Shelster Rooney, I'm storing loose in tubs, which of course does involve some rummaging around for clothes, but that's where I'm at right now. Yeah. Yeah. And the trouble with that is when you're pulling stuff yeah, out, everything it, gets unfolded. It and does. And it ends up getting creased. And I mean, it's probably creased in the bag, but at least I don't have to see it. <laughs> just see that when they open it the other end. And it just looks, I don't know, it just feels like you've made more of an effort, I suppose. Uh, Shauna says, how do you get your damaged stock back from Amazon? I had the refund but couldn't find the option to get it returned. Some you can't. I don't know how it works. I mean, it's, some of it's a mystery to me. Some, well, that one, clearly, I was able to get back. I guess some that's just smashed to bits, they just get rid of. We had, I had a Barbie, do you remember that Elvis doll? 
Yeah, and it wasn't even yours, which was, you know, you're selling I, it for. Yeah, I was my selling brother-in-law. my brother-in-law. Um, sadly, his his dad died uh, about a year or so back, mm. and he was a huge Elvis collector. And, and Stuart, my brother-in-law, inherited a load of Elvis stuff, including this. Was it Barbie? I think it was, I think made, it was by made by Barbie. Barbie. It was yeah, an Elvis. It was obviously Elvis. Hawaiian Barbie. doll, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And it was worth really good money. I sent yeah. it up. I think I listed it at like sixty or fifty pounds, and they, I don't know what they did. I think to that it. was when the fire happened. Oh, it may have been. In the fire. But I think that was at a different warehouse. Oh, okay. Don't anyway, know. they damaged that, and I tried to get it sent back, and it wasn't fulfill. It wasn't like fulfillable, I think, or available. It kept mm-hmm. saying, "You have zero inventory. We cannot complete this order." So it didn't exist. So they they obliterated it. Or it got burnt to a crisp or whatever. Yeah, but you did get a refund for it, didn't you? They did reimburse me, and they reimbursed pretty near what I had it listed at. I think I got about 50 back, which yeah. obviously I gave to Stuart because it was his. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so I think it depends how badly or how it's got damaged as to whether you can still get it returned. Um, question, Nick, what was the brand of Atari T-shirt you had on in your last video? Don't know. Which one was it? It's the one with like the, the black of... one with the like rainbow Atari. Yeah. I don't know. I've I had think... that for years. Yeah, I think we had that as a new stock in replay when we had replay the game shop. And uh, you just took one because you liked it. <laughs> yeah, we used to sell t-shirts in our gaming shop and I yeah. just used to pinch them all the time. I think it's just like I don't know, I can't remember what brand it was to be. No honest, idea. No. Uh oh, it's just jumped. Hold on. Scrolling back, scrolling back. It's lots of chat. Stu Mandy, Mandry redecorated the hall stairs and landing today. The girlfriend is happy, but no listing done. Yeah, that is the trouble, you see, because when you work at home, you feel like you should just be working all the time, just be listing. And that applies to weekends as well. If you have some downtime, you think, oh, I need to go and relist a load of stuff or I need to go and sort some stuff out. So you never actually prioritise any little jobs that you're doing or decorating or you know yeah yeah it's just so i've yeah i've got loads to do and also because you work at home you turn a blind eye to it as well (laughs) so it just sits there not being done (laughs) yeah so yeah next week that is the plan um i haven't actually got the the flooring for in there though i was going to go and source that well we'll have to go out during the week we've got to wait in tomorrow for the washer dryer now until they've come Hopefully they'll come out. And I've got to um, I've got to take that one. What's called? Yeah, it? yes, we've got to unplumb. Un- yeah. Unplumb it. These people don't want to know that because that's quite dull and boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I feel sorry for you. Like you just listened to us yeah. talking about domestic chores now. <laughs> well, Steve and Steph um, said the same. When you live in your workplace, like most of us resellers, you do become blind to everything that needs to be tended to. Lol, you should see our house project. Yeah that's yeah that's exactly what i was saying yeah i mean angie's office um we we, that extension was on the house when we bought it this one wasn't um but we haven't redecorated in there we had those great big patio doors put in yeah and we haven't finished the edging around it we haven't and we had an interior door put in and we finished the side of the living room where you can see it but not the side of the office so much that yeah. room it's like oh but now i've just filled it yeah now it's full rafters of... with stock so i just yeah we in, can't even redecorate in order right to now. finish that room properly we'd have to <laughs> empty it of your mountains of stock yeah. and your desk and your computer yeah. and it's just like we it, need we'll we need to put a new eventually. floor in there as well we were always going to put a new floor in yeah we need to paint we need to oh so yeah, much work list. <laughs> we'll get there eventually but yeah that's not a priority really yeah i was watching steve and steph actually you guys had a a yard sale outside your house that looked like a lovely area like a little close they were in that's so cool brian says r.i.p washing machine you folks are in my thoughts (laughs) yeah well it was i was kind of limping along with it for a while because it was doing shorter cycles but then every now and then it would like come up with an error so then i'd start it again and it was still actually washing clothes but it just kept stopping so i was limping along along with it for a while and then it decided on the last time i used it to shred up ellen's um, school uniform shirts 
Oh yeah, Ellen didn't have a clean shirt for school, <laughs> like a blouse, whatever yeah, you call it. I'm laughing, but it wasn't so last funny. thing. Oh, I'll, I'll chuck some in the wash, and it like yeah. murdered them, didn't it? It did, and it just it's like oh yeah, and it kept failing and failing and failing. It took about two hours to do the wash, and it was like one o'clock in the morning. I was like, I just want to go to bed. <laughs> You were having a meltdown. Oh, I was scared of you at that point. I was so tired and I was very cross. So but we we, we managed then. to salvage one that was okay and she yeah, wore that. And, and we've since ordered some new shirts which arrived today. So <laughs> job done. How did well, this chat did, become about know. domestic life in our house? <laughs> I was jealous, oh. talking about um, watching Steve and Steph. I was so jealous of the weather. They were out in like shorts oh, yeah. and T-shirts. Oh. We went out and I literally froze to death. I couldn't feel my face. Yeah, it was like minus degrees. I kept out there singing today. at you, didn't I? <laughs> <sighs> anyway, yeah, I just I thought it was amazing that um, like you were in short, not shorts, in in like flip flops and a short t shirt, and like the other half of America are like minus ten degrees or whatever. Yeah, you were saying New York's crazy. minus yeah. numbers. Yeah, it's crazy just the difference and both sides of America. Um, oh, Peter's saying once the games arrive, he's going to do a video. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Someone said um, LGG said do a Monty T-shirt. <laughs> I don't know how how well that would sell, really. <laughs> okay. Um, right. Thanks. Yes, we love our little neighbourhood, and California weather is amazing. It certainly is. Mind you, Maddie Eight said, um, "OMG, I need a Monty T-shirt in my life." <laughs> Maybe you never should. know you never know it might it might happen one day yeah um right i'm just going to try and get to the end of the chat and catch up a bit nick and andrea you sound like potential diy sos candidates it's not quite that bad <laughs> yeah the We're... trouble is you need to be like really ill or or something to we be, need to have to a reason on... for that program yeah, to step if, in you know if it's like you have to have some sort of physical impairment now it seems it's not just i don't have the time to do them yeah that shows it. not we haven't had the time we've been busy listing tap yeah it used to be okay didn't it, it used to be like help me like, I'm, i can't get my house done and anybody could get on the show but now it's all yeah which is great and we know, don't we don't qualify but we don't qualify it's like yeah come around our I mean, spare room is full know. of stuff can you can you empty don't, it out don't get me wrong because i love the show i think i just yeah i love it but we as yeah we wouldn't qualify <laughs> uh, right okay i keep thinking i'm getting to the end and then it's no, just I moved know, it's on. Going on and on right i'm new there oh, we've got a super chat from krillin <laughs> thank you krillin um said came late what you just said Oh, we were talking America. about weather. We said we were watching Steve and Steph like in the sunshine, hanging around in shorts and t-shirts, and then where you are, because I think Krillin's in New York. Yeah. On the other it's side, really it's cold, like isn't it? seriously I mean, even, minus numbers. I think Margaret in Texas was saying that it's really cold there as well. In Texas. In Texas yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um. Oh, Adam Kelsey said I was on changing rooms back in the day. Wow. I, I remember changing program. rooms. With who's the the long haired Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. Oh, he, Adam, who did you have? What was who was your designer? Who was your decorator? Because yeah. they always changed it over, didn't they? I remember oh so clearly Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen doing that black and white room and the woman walked in and cried. <laughs> it was like some gothic set from a Harry Potter movie. Yeah. And the woman, yeah, walked in and lost her <laughs> rag and he was like, Oh, yeah. they must have paid and, well, they must have really done it all. Oh, they must have done. It was hideous. And then though, there was to be the fair. other woman that had um, a, a teapot collection. Oh yeah. And they managed we... to smash them all. <gasps> <laughs> oh, Adam said Lawrence did one room. Oh God. <laughs> was it a gothic yeah. masterpiece? And who did the other one? Oh, Linda Barker. Someone says. Oh, Linda yeah, Bar she yeah, was really she, good. She was the one that smashed all the teapots <laughs> she designed a hanging free free hanging shelving system on so wires stupid. to balance somebody's precious teapot collection and funny enough they all fell off yeah stupid woman yeah. i do like Linda she didn't, i like her but she really didn't think that through no <laughs> right 
Oh, I've caught yeah. up with the chat. Hooray. <laughs> um, what oh, else? Anna Ryder Richardson. Yeah, I liked her as well. Um, I think she and her husband opened a zoo or something, didn't they? Linda Barker? Zoo? No, Anna Ryder Richardson. I thought that was Linda Barker. No, that was Anna Ryder Richardson. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think Stephen Steph must have had issues with customers at that yard sale. I'm trying to read the. Oh, well, I, I didn't watch it all because I was busy, but. Yeah. Well, it was late at night, wasn't it? So we ended up turning it off and going to bed. But yeah, yeah. we were watching the beginning part where. There oh, was... there was. Yeah, there was a couple that were really haggling. Yeah. But that wasn't too bad, I don't think. And the very odd man that just kept standing there and, and haggling. Then he went off on his bike. <laughs> Those videos are fascinating to watch because you can really people watch because a lot of them don't know they're on film. And you can just watch people. They're really yeah. odd how they just stand around and, yeah. Yeah, that was weird. Anyway. I'd have, I, you had so much patience with that lady. I would have <laughs> totally lost my rag. <laughs> um, Kay Horsley says, shout out, please, because I am watching in bed with a cold. Oh, no. I hope you get well soon, Kay. Get well Horrid. soon, Kay. Our thoughts are with yeah. you that time of the year everybody seems to be going down to something um question what is the aim for your business this year we have various ideas really mm, we want to we still want to get our ebay stuff a bit more streamlined clear mm. the backlog i'm pretty much there with the backlog and um, i do have a few bits i'll sort out today that i'm going to show you yeah. um you really need to push through and, and get your backlog yeah. down and only source things that are higher in value i think yeah i think both um, of us want to well, get our average sale price up i say that but unless i go to a jumble and then you just can't, <laughs> you just can't buy, resist a bargain you buy know? piles of it <laughs> um yeah do a few car boot sales because i have a mountain of stock that's off camera that you can't yeah. see that we need to shift and you will be yeah. generating loads of stuff to sell and a couple of different uh, business ventures as well that we're thinking we might try yeah I'm still working um, on the, the whole pub idea that I've mentioned a few times. Um, I, I started emailing landlords the other night and sending out messages. So I'm going to slowly get the ball rolling with that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I think um, I'm going to try um, because I'm getting a bit, a little bit braver, but I'm still finding it quite hard. But I'm going to try and do more YouTube videos on my own. So that's that's a goal for this year. I've heard this one. Before. <laughs> I know you have. But I have some plans of things I want to try. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but in general, we want to enjoy what we do and, you know, work to live, not live to work. Yeah. Um, um, we have a question from UK Devils who said, uh, will, we be, will we be doing Amazon private label? No. No, no that's not something that we're. I'm not saying I'll never do it, or... but it's not kind of in my headspace. No. No. Um, okay. Um, Graham's got a question. Do you think that the CS are wearing thin and becoming more miss than hit? I think it depends what you're looking for, actually. What charity shops? Mm. I certainly haven't found well, I haven't been in many really this last six months, but mm. I haven't found many home runs in charity shops. But we for a while when we went when we had the shop going back um well, over a year now, we were in town and we were, I was popping in every lunchtime and I was finding a lot of stuff, a lot of really saleable stuff with good margins on. Like virtually every lunchtime I'd come back and show you a bag of goodies. Yeah, that I? is true, yeah. So it's, I think a lot of it's about regularity, but certainly some of the chains are hiking their prices. Yeah. You can't avoid that. But we, we have a few around here that are more the local cha chains, not national chains. And they tend to be more reasonably priced. So, yeah, it's a tricky one. Um, we've got another super chat from Krillin. Thank you, Krillin. Um, what? N-A? N-A? Not applicable? <laughs> Coming to 2008. No, what? N oh, Nick and Andrea, not applicable. <laughs> I have to live oh, with this. Dear. <laughs> so yeah krillin says are we coming to the reseller rally um i don't know probably not but i doubt it because I we say no for definite we have plans to come to the us but it will be in august because that's when we can take ellen out of school well yeah. that's when she's out of school 
Um, and I think the rally is before then anyway. I um, think it was because it was N stroke A, you see. So I was thinking, what? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're called. Dough. <laughs> But, I mean, if it ties in time-wise, uh, potentially, yes, but I'm pretty sure they were talking about doing it earlier than that. Okay. Yeah, so probably not, but, yeah. Never but there, is, there are plans, um, or at least there were plans, for a UK meet-up kind yeah. of rally thing. I hope so, because I'm quite looking forward to that. Um, I need to speak to David and see if he's got any further with that. Yeah. So you can come over to ours, Krillin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, what else did I say? I was going to talk about um tony cowley says what is your ideal sourcing method finding a job lot of stuff and buying it <laughs> sound like it's a here now <laughs> well i've always loved that yeah, i mean yeah, I've, yeah. I've been buying job lots and making it work yeah. for years and it just it really streamlines that process i mean i said i think recently um last year's numbers for us would have been a fraction of what they ended up being if it wasn't for that hall of games and that van load of stuff we got from bedford yeah yeah definitely um we're almost sold through all of that van load yeah i say almost we've got we started off with how many hundred tripods i've got five left and we had this haul now oh my god what year and four months or more than yeah that? well it's definitely been over a year um, I had 50 odd DJ heroes, those ones down there. I've got three yeah. of those left. I've got, a, I've bought all of the, um, the aluminium bottles down. There's one shelf of them left. You can see we started off with 450 of those and we've yeah. got about 80 left or yeah, less. Yeah. I mean, that has been fantastic. So, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so you need to get out and schmooze with people. <laughs> yeah. A lot of that is... <laughs> I don't like the word luck because you have to put yourself in the right position. Yeah, because you could have easily walked past that guy or never or not spoken yeah. to him and never got it. So, so depending on how you look at it, you, you've just got to put yourself in the right places and be willing to to speak to people and and then take the plunge and take the risk. Um, because that's all I've all I've ever done. It's like to hear with the RA stuff, um, RC stuff. You know, they just happened to be down south visiting parents and then they stumbled across that. But he still had to have the, the presence of mind to see the opportunity. And then the hard bit is putting your money where, where your mouth is and investing generally with halls a lot of money up front. Potentially, not be, you're not going to see that money back for months or maybe years. But, yeah. yeah. What was the question? Um, <laughs> what was your ideal oh, source? What's the of ideal source, source of method? Yeah, I would buy hall after hall if I could. But yeah. I thoroughly enjoy car boot sales for yeah. I think we the, just the fun of the, it the hunt really just yeah. finding something I'm never happier than wandering around on a really pleasant summer's day wandering around the field not knowing what I'm going to find yeah chatting to people in a field buying their stuff yeah. coming home and you know sharing what we picked up with each other making a video about it that's fun for me and if your job is fun you're winning at life <laughs> Oh well, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Yeah. So um on a different subject, Darren says that um charity shop managers are becoming more aware of selling on eBay in the bigger brands. Um try the charity shops off the beaten track and also superstores. Yeah. Yeah, the, the big that. um cancer research superstore that Darren's actually been to, um, they're pretty good on price. Yeah, they are. That they're, they're much more they get so much stuff in. Yeah. that they're happy to just turn it over and churn it and churn it over yeah um you found some really nice clothing stuff in there yeah you? i mean coats are like five pounds and you know which some people might say is a lot of money they might do but if you can turn turn it over and sell it for like 20 25 then it's great yeah. so yeah, I, I bought some coats in there that i've was that 200 pound coat from oh no that was no that was jumble sale. jumble sale oh yeah but yeah, I've done quite well in, from the cancer research shop. Mm. And yeah. Um, <laughs> Bear with while we read again. Well, I was, oh, did I, oh, I did talk about that, didn't I? Oh, dry January. Does that say wrestlers? Wrestlers, yeah, I was going to talk about wrestlers. 
not rest. I know nothing about wrestling. I've got a box of wrestlers. I was going to show you. Um, dry January. Yeah. If if you follow this channel for a while, you'll know we like a drink. That's an understatement. We are giving our livers a rest, and we're not drinking for the whole of January. I mean, to be fair, we generally only drink on a weekend anyway. We don't drink during the week. For the majority of the time. Oh, well, I don't know. You drink at the pub, don't you, on a post night? <laughs> <laughs> I drink whenever I get the chance. <laughs> well, um, for the most part, it's usually just Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, so we, we've not had a drink since New Year's Eve. And it's we, only been a week. <laughs> we, we plan to do the whole of January. We yeah. should probably, for the sake of our health, do February as well. Well, I, <laughs> so I, I, know, I know that sensibly we should probably just not drink at home full stop really that's never gonna happen but, but you know i might feel differently at the moment I, i'm thinking oh only four weeks to go but then i i think maybe i should just carry this on and be sensible to my body but i don't know <laughs> yeah um adam says i tried dry, dry january once two years ago still haven't had a drink there you go that's what i've just been saying but i don't know if i could give it up full stop I just don't know. <laughs> it's all a bit much. Nick is an old lush. What does that mean, Lisa? What does that mean? Because you like a drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was that what you're reading? Adam's comment there. Yeah. Tried dry January two years ago, still having it. Wow, that's good. Yeah, I I love drinking oh. socially. Um, uh, there was it's... just uh, IPTV Sports says, Andrea, I have PM'd Nick on Facebook. Let me know if you have got it. You won't be able to see it though if it's to me, will you? Oh, is it to you personally or on our Facebook page? I don't know. Uh, well, I won't be able to see it on my phone if it's to I, you personally. When we're off air, it'd be a lot easier for me to, to go and check that. Um... Have you got your phone with you? Or is it in the other room? Oh, I'll have a look afterwards. Yeah, I know, but I thought then you could just tell him. So. <laughs> um, Quinn says, thank you for the super chat. Um, where in the US are you going in August? Um, well, we're hoping to plan a trip to Disney World in Florida. So, well, not necessarily just to Disney World, but to Florida. And we want to do Disney World and Universal. So. It depends whether it's come through to my personal one or the page. Uh, nothing there no there's nothing I'll, I'll sort it out afterwards yeah i know but then you won't be able to tell him uh mia cameron ali does doesn't drink at all uh sam ferguson love you guys so much you, you looking forward to your holiday to america we are planning a trip oh oh when our son is around four or five well, we started thinking about this trip <laughs> yeah. when Ellen was four or five. That's it just never happened. And I think that's another thing when you're self-employed, taking a big chunk of time and, and out of work was difficult, particularly when we ran, at that point, a uh, retail outlet. Um, we did have staff, but not to the level that we could leave in charge for that length of time. So we holidays... We suffered with holidays, didn't we? We struggled. Yeah. We did take them, but not oh, as we, much as we do now. We've been promising Ellen for years, exactly, exactly the same, that when you're old enough, we'll take you. <laughs> and now she's 16. So we said, right, 16th year, we definitely need to be yeah. taking her. We need to also, week coming, take some time out to work out how we're going to do it. We're now thinking about renting a place, like a little apartment, and renting a car. And not doing an all-in-one package. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. I don't know where to... We I... need to look into options. Yeah. That's so the, many that options. really should go on the list of jobs for next week. So we need to do it sooner rather than later. Yeah. Um, Peter Ray says, the chat is the fastest ever. Hard to catch up. It is, I know. Which is great. Thank you. I'm so glad that everybody's getting involved it, it still blows our minds whenever we go live that, that we have this many people that that come and watch us and and yeah, chat and the everybody's getting amazing. to know each other and they all chat amongst themselves amongst themselves when we're boring and we just talk about housework <laughs> Darren says what if the pub landlords want you to have oh, a drink to seal your deals <laughs> Karen said did you see Karen's super chat no 
that must have zoomed by. Did we see what? Darren's super chat. Karen. Karen. Karen's super chat. Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. Okay, Karen. normally, guys, <laughs> the super chats appear at the top of the side chat in yeah, the little bubble. It, it that is just that completely hasn't. not happening today. And then the chat will jump like yeah. ahead. Um, Karen says, Do you think that you would buy clothes by the palette? No, I don't think I would because at one point I used to advertise for clothes and I used to get get them in in bulk and spend an awful lot of time looking through stuff and the majority of it I didn't want or I you know I'd pick out the best stuff and it was so time consuming so I don't think I'd buy clothes by the palette because I wouldn't be able to see it up front and I wouldn't be able to see what I wanted and what I didn't and I think it would just be time consuming so I think in a nutshell, what I think, I don't want to speak for you, but I think you've come to the point where you decided less is more, yeah. less higher quality, higher value items, rather than what we have been doing. Like when we had the retail out, it's all about turnover. It's all about yeah. bulk, bulk coming in, bulk going out, which was great. And it makes money, but it's so much work. Yeah. So time consuming. Whereas you can make similar money if you just buy smaller quantities of really good quality stuff and they turn over quick with higher margins yeah. and for now we're obviously back at home that just makes so much more sense with storage because you suffer in that back office with storage yeah definitely it's, it's, it's not a big room so <laughs> yeah yeah so that's where we want to get to but we have to get rid of all the bulk that we've got so that's kind of the mission for the first quarter of this year really isn't it to, to get that dealt with even if we just have to give a load of it to charity just to just to wipe the slate clean Yes. I'm so at that point already. Yeah, well, it needs to be. I mean, the shop's been closed over a year now, so yeah. I just need to make decisions. Um. So, yeah, thanks for the uh, super chat, Karen. Sorry we yeah, missed it. You. It's really hard to keep up with this side chat. Um, yeah, I mean, it's literally been just clicking on by. Uh, retro Vintage. I'm just going to read that as a question there. Oh, it's not a question. Thank you, Nick and Andrea. Thank you for the help with the GK420D, which is our label printer. Um new labels and it's working a treat. I think that was a message I had where it wasn't printing right because we had that issue. And I think it's because we had some old label stock and because it's thermal labels, I think over time, maybe they degrade. But once I got new labels from the post office and put them in, it was perfect. Yeah. So I was worried this wasn't working right. Do you remember? Anyway, yeah, glad, um, glad I helped. And Karen says that she's on 173 subscribers on her YouTube channel and would really like to get to 200 hint hint <laughs> so um yeah shout out for karen's youtube channel karen, karen fisher, fisher. Um, and so also if to you don't sue. subscribe then head over there and and take Talk, a look talking of, of uh channels reseller channels um sue's piles of shame uh posted in the tat chat which is our facebook group that we that we set up with cm beck and um, that she was close to a thousand. Did you see wow, the post? No, I did not miss that. And, and she said, I don't usually share my videos in here, but I really want to get to a thousand subs. And I said, she's yeah. welcome to share. Likewise, Cohen, put a post uh, in the uh, tat chat if you want. Yeah. Uh, share a video in there, explain to people that you're, what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, go and check out Sue's Piles of Shame as well. Love her videos. Yeah, and also Karen No Crafts also has a YouTube channel now. Yeah. So yeah. Right, I'm gonna scroll back to the end if I can. Oh my word, there's loads of chat. <laughs> <laughs> Dara says, found any more watches? <laughs> I'm not going there again. <laughs> right. What else did I have? Ah, right, let me show you. I was sorting around. I Is keep that uh, was what? that a super chat that we've looked at? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, Krillin, super chat. Where are you we going in August? We have, answer, we've answered that. We've answered that. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was going to say, I keep thinking I, I have got through my backlog and then I find more stuff. Like today, I found these. I vaguely remember buying them. I couldn't tell you what I spent. It is Judge Dread magazine. And these are all in volumes. They're all bound in these really cool volumes, as you can see. There's issues 0 to, I wrote it down, 0 to 68. They're all in mint condition. And I was looking at them today and I thought, wow, I've got some money here. They're from 92 to 94, I believe. 
I was looking them up earlier and it's just very little demand. Yeah. But I'm still it's, it's quite surprising, really, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm going to list them and list them high anyway and put international shipping on because this was a UK mm -hmm. issued magazine. I don't think it was available internationally. It's only got the price in pounds on here. So I'm going to aim for the international market on these. I mean, they are pristine. There's that volume. Oh, that a sec. There's this one. I don't know how many. Oh, no, I do because I just said 68. 68. There's five of these volumes. They're really heavy. So international shipping is going to cost. It. I'll just do G GSP. <laughs> so, yeah. So I've got those to sort out. I did the pictures earlier. Don't know where I'm going to go on price. Once it had sold in the UK, similar size were just not going for much. Nowhere near what I thought. So I've got that to sort out. And then you may remember I shared a load of wrestling figures I had ages ago on a video because i know nothing about wrestling really isn't doesn't float my boat at all um i did a video a couple of years back where i showed all these figures and just said guys if you know who these are let me know because i have no idea who's who in wrestling i've got this as well springy whatever you call it ring <laughs> Sorry, um springy ring since then i've added to this collection quite a lot so I need to go back through that video, find out what they're all called, and then list them all. But he's I must. Short, isn't he? He's got very little. Legs. Yeah, he's like a little dwarf guy in real oh, life. He's a dwarf. Oh, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, and I did. Oh, he's got a really weird name. Oh damn! Someone will know. I bet in the chat, someone knows what this little dwarf wrestler guy so is called. Who would know? Uh, Hornswoggle or something. <laughs> okay. Honestly, it is. It's some weird. I'm sure that's it. Swoggle or something. <laughs> don't look at me someone will tell me you watch yeah so, we're still really behind on the chat really. hornswoggle see look oh, there you go. barry francis hornswoggle there you go oh, i think he's like an irish guy is he i don't know anyway so i'm finally going to sort these out and list them um got loads i don't think i've got any particularly valuable ones oh rob van dam i've got written on there but i reckon there's I don't know how many in here. So that's a job. The plan vaguely is I'll go through them all, do a few searches, list individually the ones that are worth bothering with, and then do a bundle, either two or three smaller bundles or one huge bundle. I'm not really that bothered. Oh, there's a super chat. What's yeah, that Yeah, we've got a super chat from uh, Chris Bromelo um, for £10. So thank you so much, Chris. Wow. Cheers, Chris. Um, he says... I bought a job lot of kids' toys, construction sets, and Betty boot bags for Christmas. Sold a bit, but still have quite a bit left. Do you think I should sell as a job lot, as it does take up um, too much room? It's hard to say, really. It depends. I mean, if you are you in profit already on what you've sold? Because sometimes if you buy a job lot and then you sell a load of it, and you, you've made your money back, maybe you're in profit a little bit. And if, whatever you get for a job lot is pure profit on top of that. And that's sometimes a really nice way to cash it in. We've done that before, certainly. Yeah. It, either that or if you'd make a lot more money putting it in storage and selling it next Christmas. But then, as you say in the comment, it's taking up too much room. Perhaps getting rid of it is the answer. Yeah. Just turning it over. Only you really know what's going to work for you. I would say, yeah, look at the numbers and see where you're at with your investment on it and, and decide from there. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm going to enjoy getting rid of these guys. Look at that. There's a hairdo. <laughs> he looks like the guy at oh, a high school musical. That's a He-Man or she -Ra. Um Oh, that's cool. That shouldn't be in there. She's not a wrestler. I'm sure she's I'm some... sure she does that in a part-time. <laughs> I'm sure that's He Man or she. That's the thumbnail she right there. <laughs> thumbnail time. Um, yeah. Oh, what was her name? Somebody will know in the chat. <laughs> this is an '80s He Man or She She Will figure. I'm sure. I bet Darren will know. Yeah. There's a challenge, my, Darren. My cousin Ben would know. Some somewhere in Essex, Darren is googling this right now. <laughs> 
Yeah, your cousin Ben would yeah, know oh, in a he'd flash. Go straight away. He knows all the Thundercats, He Man, all of that. Oh, and I've got a load of. Oh, I don't think I've got many because I, I bundled a oh, load Evil of Wild. Evil Lynn. Back. Yes. Evil Lynn. Yes. Yes. It was Darren. <laughs> Did you Google that, Darren? I've got some of these I think left Darren as well. Darren is just a, a pool of knowledge. Yeah, he knows his stuff, does our Darren? Yes. I did sell a bundle of these for, That's for, really cool. for quite good money yeah. a while back. Do you remember I picked up a load of those new yeah. ages ago? So anyway, that's... Somebody just, just squished them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be a fun job this yeah. week. Oh. Do you want to scroll up a little bit? Because I think there were maybe... I saw at least one question. Scrolling up. I want to answer what, before that oh i can't remember mm. maybe below it i don't know uh peter a asks nick any more vids going to be ticked off your backlog <laughs> i've got so many i want to make um uh, as you know making videos i'm sure peter it takes a lot of time and energy so yes lots that i want to do <laughs> uh, i can't see any no, I did Questions. see a question that I wanted to answer, but I can't remember where it was. So... <laughs> it's hard because it goes so quick and then you kind of, no, it must be further up. Just talking about that question we had about the job lot, people were saying similar things. If if you're in profit, yeah, get rid of it as a bundle is fine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we, we've cashed in on stuff before. Sometimes you get to a point and it's like, I've made some money. Anything I make on the rest of it is pure profit. And it kind of releases that pressure to try and, you know, and it's it's sometimes great to just get things moving. Yeah. Barry Francis said Carlitos is the hairdo. Is that the one with the big hair? Oh, wow. People know they're wrestlers. Know. That video, actually, going back to the video, I, sh I literally laid them all out. This is when we were in the clothing shop. I laid, I must have had, a lot of this I had at that point. I laid them all out and just went through. And that video gets views all the time. It's had a ridiculous amount of views. And there are hundreds and hundreds of comments where people have answered and listed every single wrestler because these, it's mainly kids. They just know their stuff. Yeah. Or big kids, like some of these big kids. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, yeah so... I think it must have been before the super chat that we I saw that question. Oh, okay. But Going back. Don't go too quickly. <laughs> In case oh adam says you need steve green steve green knows his wrestlers oh yeah he does uh... oh shelly braithwaite she says when at a jumble sale do you give the same amount of attention or because of price take a punt at items and just grab it yeah i think the latter i think we just we take more punts at jumble sales because totally. of the low prices for two reasons Definitely. one if you hesitate at a jumble sale someone else will grab it yeah. and the second one is it's so cheap yeah it really because, doesn't matter yeah. you're talking 20p an item and a lot of things on clothing yeah because even if you just redonate you're not really losing a lot exactly if you, you're making money on the other things if you buy 20 items at a jumble sale and one of them is a home run <laughs> The rest you can just give to charity and not worry about it. It just yeah. doesn't matter, does it? Yeah, I exactly. mean, talking of jumble sales, I mean, you got incredibly, I don't like the word lucky, but lucky with that coat. Who? What was that? Ralph Lauren. That Ralph Lauren yeah. coat. I reckon that jumble sale we must have spent between us 30 quid, maybe. Yeah. And you got 200 for the coat. Yeah. Set fire to the rest of it. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? Not that we would. Not that we would. Um, yeah. Yeah. But it does. I mean, when, when prices are low and when we've gone to fill a bag jumbles, it is a case of just, yeah, it's just yeah, grabbing, isn't grab it? things. And if most of it is just rubbish, you can just give it to charity yeah. and move on. It's... Yeah, I very rarely check condition of something at a jumble. I just look and think, oh, yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. Let's go to the end. Did I talk about all things I was going to talk about? What does that say? Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah, did that. Yeah, I asked you what that said as well. <laughs> oh, we. I've not tried. Um, if you have an eBay shop, you'll know that you get um, packaging vouchers. Have we used this month yet? Is that what they? I were? think that was this month. I think so. So we we've tried so far the um, these. Um, 
what do you call them mailing bags <laughs> what do you call them <laughs> we've had um a couple of sizes of these that size has been really handy hasn't it yeah it has um they do them in funky colors now when they started they were gray we've got big ones yeah. in gray haven't we I can't well it's see a different now. company altogether now isn't it the yeah other company just weren't very good yeah the first company that was shipping stuff out they were useless oh um ITV sports said it was on your resellers facebook not seen anything come through um and when i was first ordering mailing bags they were like this and we had them without even any branding on which is kind of disappointing and now the mailing bags are all in funky colors these are like the standard sort of dvd size ones which are purple with green on they're quite cool but we hadn't tried until this week the boxes so we ordered up some it's just a handy little size box and they come in this cool like what could what would you call that peach a yeah, peach color orangey color so yeah quite happy with them yeah they're really nice Ooh. Yeah, quite pleased with the eBay packaging. Yeah, I think we get what is it, a ten pound voucher once a month. But that they they cheekily put the price of the stores up and then gave you a voucher. So it's like, yeah. and I think you can just buy okay. from those stores anyway, even if you don't yeah. have a voucher. So yeah. So anyway, really nice they're packaging. quite cool. Yeah, um, we have. I haven't seen. Um, I'm in my reselling facebook page now and we haven't had a private message so i don't know what's happened there don't know. um yeah i don't know could try messaging nick privately. <coughs> maybe what <laughs> i didn't hear what you I'm said failing what? that you could try sending us a private message on instagram because i think on our header on our youtube page um on our channel page on our header there's a little icon for instagram so you could just send a private message through instagram and i look at instagram all the time so i'll see that uh, there's a question there how do you see ebay changing their strategy for local selling to compete with spock etc it's a good, mm, it a good question i mean we're all seeing um the market just evolving in america with local selling apps um it's happening here in the uk like you say with spock and Facebook is a big player. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I remember Steve and Steph when we chatted, when we had them on the channel, Steve was saying that eBay is involved. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I was just reading in the chat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? Steve was saying that eBay is involved and eBay owns one of those apps anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, didn't know that. Did you tune Steve out when he was on? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, or I've forgotten it. But yeah, I think it'll be interesting. I think it's a huge part of the market, and it's and it's definitely taking off. If you've watched Stephen Steph, I mean, the amount they're turning over, and they know people that are doing it on just a bigger scale, if not bigger than what they do. Oh, was, you're talking about an American app? Well, Steve was saying that eBay started off in Europe with a person-to-person -person app for right. local sales. Okay. I don't know oh, what okay. it was. Right, yeah. I do vaguely remember that. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. I have Away to retain a lot of information, and I may have just forgotten that part. Okay. Yeah. But talking about apps and reselling apps, um, we saw an advert for Vinted, didn't we? Today? Yeah. And that's the first time I've ever seen them advertised on TV. We saw what well, eBay are still advertising a lot on telly. Yeah, and a lot on the radio. Mostly. Was it on the radio they keep advertising? Yeah, that could ching, and then we all just keep looking at our phones. Tell me if you've heard there's an advert. What what chat was that on? Uh, Absolute. Yeah, we listened to Absolute. We were listening to Absolute eighties or whatever, and there's this eBay advert that comes on, and it's kind of waffle, 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 and then there's this kaching, and in, every time I want to reach for my, yeah, I know. For my phone, yeah. And look, but yeah, yeah, they're advertising. And then we saw Ziffit was advertising. I've never seen them ad advertised before. They're like Music Magpie. Mm. And then Vinted, yeah. which are a vintage clothing specialist. Well, not they? just vintage vintage clothing. It's um, any clothing, really. On a, in the advert, it was a handbag, actually. Yeah, and shoes and accessories. So that's interesting. But yeah, I mean, I've not, I've bought from them before, but never tried selling. Oh, Zahir's in. Hi, mate. But yeah, it's an interesting thing. And I, I think, I hope 
that the person to person app scene is going to explode in the UK as it is in America. It's interesting watching uh, Stephen Steph that in different areas and different, even down to a different town to town basis, different apps are taking off. You know, they're, they're fighting over the kind of market share already. And in a certain area, everyone's on the kind of let go or somewhere else offer up will be big. It's interesting to see what works and what doesn't. But yeah, yeah I'm sure I mean, eBay if, if... are looking at it closely. And I think they're financially involved yeah. already from what Steve was saying. Apps, app designers, you know, should really get in in this country and just yeah. go for it with that sort of thing. Yeah. I mean, I have, I've not even tried Spock yet. I've not even had a go on there. Mm. I don't know. No, I've got it on my phone. Mm. But I've not tried selling anything on it. Um, Stephen Steph said, do you guys have Craigslist there? We don't, do we? No. no. Uh, Stephen Steph say, I think eBay bought Close 5. That's the name of the local app here. Not very big oh, yet. Oh, and Sue said, eBay oh. Classifieds Group bought Gumtree in 2005. That's interesting. So Gumtree, which is kind of our version of um, Craigslist, really. Yeah, in a way. Because Gumtree does all sorts. Like, mm. you know, I've lost my dog to I need a job to do you want to buy a toaster? It's kind of that go-to place for everything. Yeah. I really don't like Gumtree. I've looked on there before. I find it a appallingly badly designed yeah. platform. Yeah, I mean, we haven't looked for a while, to be fair. It surprises but... me that eBay own that, that they haven't overhauled it and yeah. made it more usable <laughs> but, but yeah as we say we haven't looked at it for a while i think the market will will be shaken up i think over the next few years and it's going to be fascinating yeah. to see where it goes um will's shop says question nick i've just watched your lego selling videos and now i'm getting into lego selling myself why would you choose ebay over bricklink or brick owl because that's what i knew and i we knew a few people that were doing BrickLink about a year or two back, didn't we? And they found it didn't really work for them. Um, but we, I also know of people that have done fantastically well on BrickLink. But for me, eBay was perfect. There's some huge, huge sellers on, on eBay doing, um, depending on how you want to sell Lego. I mean, we did it down to the part number. And that's a huge investment in time and energy and kind of getting everything set up. But it works on eBay really well for doing that because people multi-buy from your store. Um, I can't remember any of the store names now, but they're easy to find. Do some searches yourself on eBay and you'll find some stores that are massive and they are turning over huge amounts of money. Um, but yeah, I mean, BrickLink and BrickOwl, I'm not knocking them and it works for certain people. So you need to look into it and work out is that going to work for how you plan to run your business? Yeah. But for me, eBay was was great. And the only reason we really stopped doing that was that I wanted to do other stuff. Yeah. I, I'm too much of a scatterbrain to focus on one thing. <laughs> um, Dave so. Roland thinks that Craigslist is available here, but it's not widely known. Well, there you go. News to me. Yeah. Uh, right. How are we doing for time? Well, wow, it's quarter past nine, so I think we probably ought to be wrapping it up. We will wrap this up soon. Considering we didn't have much to chat about, we've done quite well. <laughs> um, uh, will Hudson says, I do Brick, Link and eBay. Both are great for continuous development. Fantastic. Um, Darren says, local is fine, but I like being able to put my item in front of the world. I purchase on locals, hardly selling a thing. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. It's it's something that I do want to do more of. Um, I love the simplicity of it. And, you know, the proof is in, in, is in the sales, really. And you, you only have to look at what, what yeah. Steve and Steph do. And it's just like, wow. But then they have the right sort of stuff. Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? I'm not sure a lot of what we sell really fits with local. Yeah. A lot of what we sell, we need to reach thousands of people to find that one person who wants Judge Dread magazines, for example. Yeah. I could probably have that advertised locally for years and not find someone who gives a monkey about 1992 Judge, Judge Dread magazine. I can't yeah. say it. So, yeah. But with eBay, you have the beauty of being able to sell locally as well because yeah. we offer local collections. So. Mm. 
Uh, Stephen Steph say uh, Craigslist is dying because they refuse to adapt and change with the demand. They aren't photo based like the new apps are. They're old school now. Only only old people use it nowadays. It's so true though. I mean, in, in e-commerce, it's adapt or die. It really is. And eBay, well, we've already said they are looking. They're they're players in it already, and they're buying apps and, and developing yeah, apps. Yeah. So, and they have but to. also changing the way that they're seen as a you know the advertising kind of. Um, I don't know how to put it really, but they're making it more modern. They're sort of trying to target younger people. Um, they're making it themselves look a bit more trendy. That's what um, Spock have done, isn't it? Spock yeah. are like all in your face, attracting the youth. Yeah, it's the way forward. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I still think Facebook's going to be a huge player in it. Well, they already are in a way with their, you know, marketplace. Yeah, definitely. I just find that so. Oh, I don't know. It's like a, it's like kind of like the wild west, wild west Facebook marketplace, and I find it everyone is so flaky on there. You message people, half of them don't reply, yeah, or they don't turn up when they say they're going to. Well, I'm, I'm um... talking about trying to buy stuff. You message oh, people yeah, and you yeah. just don't get anything back. Yeah, and. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't get on with oh, it. Gavin, UK reseller, said, get to the new Peacocks auction in Bedford. They've got a massive new building and there's job lots to be had every Saturday. Let me know and I will meet you there one Saturday. So that sounds quite good. We were only saying the other day that we are going to do some research into auctions. There's one I used to go to in St Albans. I don't know if you've ever been to that one. I was going to check that out again um Stuart my brother-in-law has said about the Bedford one for yeah. a while so yeah. yeah fantastic perfect timing peacocks I will google it afterwards and um yeah, yeah we'll sort that out I mean out. I have been booking up our weekends <laughs> just recently so when was it Saturday Saturday is it? Saturday is it every Saturday I know oh. as much as you is it every Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> because yeah I have booked up a few weekends this month already there you go. Things. See, how am I supposed to go buy in stock if you've got it's, us booked well, up for I can't things? Help it. It's on the calendar, so you can you can see. Because you you need a life as well, you know. <laughs> this is true. It's that balance of work life thing that I've never managed to crack. No. Okay. Um, so Thanks for that, says Gavin. That, um, Facebook Marketplace can be decent. It has the same issues. You've just scrolled. Hang on. As there. as any other site with flaky people, that's just people. Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. Well put. Exactly. Actually, I think what is lacking, going on from what Zahir says, with with Facebook, they've kind of set it up and they let it go. They have no involvement, so there's no mm -hmm. kind of structure to it. You know, it's all. That's why I see it as the Wild West. At least with eBay, that there's you you have to you confine to their rules and regulations facebook marketplace has no rules and regulations no even you know things that they impose of ways you should act on there yeah. things you should and shouldn't do there's nothing you can do, get away with whatever you like yeah. on facebook and people do um well, i just read something else i wanted to read oh, oh, that... yeah. ray cunningham said i uh, just joined easy live auction a few days ago lists uk auctions and has online bidding so that's something to think about. Was that <laughs> e easy live auctions? Ah, uh, yes, I have heard of yeah, yeah. Um, Steve and Steph say, Nick and Andrea, let's talk one of these days about local sales and flakes and strategies of how to deal with them and make sales work. We figured out some techniques through trial and error. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be a great video because I think it is something that that. A lot of people are talking about in the UK and I think it's going to arrive here. It's going to expand here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we'll have a chat on Facebook and we'll, we'll set up another hangout. That'd be good. That'd be cool. Okay. I just wanted to read what Darren said about uh, Facebook again. Yeah. Uh, Darren says, I've had issues selling on Facebook myself. No shows. Guy ended up on, only buying half of what we agreed after I went to meet him. Lots of time wasters. That's the thing. Yeah, and there's no comeback. There's there? no comeback. There's no rules and regulations. There's no kind of code of practice on mm -hmm. Facebook. And that 
causes issues. But yeah. as Stephen and Steph said, that they've come up with strategies for hopefully avoiding some of this stuff. So yeah, and also Dave makes a good point where he says yeah. Facebook Marketplace is evolving all the time. So yeah, they will get there. And I still think Facebook will do something yeah. big. Yeah, UK Devil said I think Facebook will implement structure soon. Yeah, yeah. I think there's so much money to be made in this area. Everyone's looking at it. Yeah. You know, from from new startup apps through eBay, yeah. Amazon's probably looking at it right now. They've got their fingers in every blooming pie. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fascinating. I think this yeah. year and next year, it'll all evolve. You know, we'll look back to now in a couple of years and think, oh my God, do you remember when we didn't have these apps and stuff? Yeah, I know. Well, just think about what we look back on now yeah. and how much it's changed. So yes. Absolutely. Yeah. I, okay. can, I can imagine a day when I had my eBay business in my phone. Yeah, in your phone. Yeah. I can run my eBay business from my phone pretty much. I don't yeah. list on my phone anymore. I have done in the past, but yeah. I can but imagine can. that. It so, has the capability. So I know I, I pretty much do everything on my phone now. And I went into Asda today. I had an order that I needed to pick up and I also wanted to get some shopping. So I've got the shopping. I paid on my phone using the little Barclay card app and um and then she said can i have your order number showed it to her on my phone and then i used that for other things and i did everything on my phone it was like i didn't need to go in my bag i didn't need to get my purse out yeah it was yeah crazy well when i went up to stay with tom and we went out on the tiles and i lost my phone that morning i i was bereft when I thought I had lost my phone, it, it dawned on me how reliant and how much it's like an extension yeah, of my arm is now. in your phone. <laughs> but and yeah. I, and there was a time you, you were like, I'm never having it. I phone. hated phones. <laughs> I, I was that, I'm not going to have a mobile phone. I don't believe in mobile phones until not that long ago. Yeah, <laughs> to a be couple honest. years, really. And then it was iPhone that changed everything for me. Yeah. I was convinced. I, no, when we had our gaming shop, we used to buy and sell tech. We didn't really buy and sell phones, but we got offered that sort of stuff. And this guy came in once and offered me an iPhone. And I thought, it's a good price. I'm going to buy it. And I started using it. And that was it. I was then sucked into the whole Apple iPhone malarkey. That was when we just started using Apple Macs as well. I just want to say that we had 208 viewers just a second ago. We now have 205. Wow. But we did have 208. So, you know. Whoever's dropping in and out, thank you for yes. having a look and for joining us. My knees and are we burning. probably really should let you all go and enjoy your Sunday So evening. I'm just turning off this heater because my feet and knees are on fire. <laughs> because we have waffled for much longer than we normally do. And already people have left. <laughs> yes. So, um, yeah, we should really go. Okay. I'm just seeing. I don't want to leave out any comments that are. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, what did Sahir say above? What there? Oh no, above where? Um, I bought something on Facebook only to be asked for ten pounds more once at the door. <laughs> yeah, that's outrageous, uh, isn't it? Crazy. I remember that story. Wasn't that yeah, the tablet yeah. thing? Yeah. Um. Yeah, but no fees, says UK Devils. Yeah, that that's exactly, a huge thing yeah. you can't ignore. These apps are not charging you to buy and sell. Yeah. You can't ignore that, you know, the eBay 10% thing versus free cash in your hands. Yeah. No comeback. It's another thing you can't ignore. You know, once it's sold, it's sold. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> you haven't got someone going, can I get a refund? <laughs> can I have a refund? What did I say? What's that? We are going soon. We are. Um no, I just thought I saw a comment. Yeah. Um, what does Darren say? In 50 years, we'll all, we'll all have machines that, like in the fly, we pay and it materialises in front of us. Oh, possibly. <laughs> well, we do have 3D printers now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We could be here all evening... Uh, I'm sure yeah. you all have much better things to do with your lives and watch us waffle about stuff we don't know much about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stephen Padgham. Hi, Nick and Andrea. What have I missed? Oh, quite not a lot. lot. <laughs> well, no, not a lot. Quite a lot. Um, we've just waffled. 
for a whole hour and a half. We've been highly interesting. Have we? <laughs> we talked about washing machines for a while. Talked about oh, DIY. We're really selling it now. <laughs> yeah. Just seen another ghost light over Nick's head when Nick says about having his own shop. Oh. Did we have another ghost in? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've actually noticed um, when you live streamed or something else and I was watching it back and I did notice something in the background. But yeah, I, I think I will, I will, we I will have company here. <laughs> I, I will end on Stephen Steph's comment about uh, local selling. No packaging, no peanuts. No peanuts? Oh, packing peanuts. <laughs> no peanuts. <laughs> In case of nut allergies. <laughs> yeah, no nut allergy. Uh, no labels, no boxes, no returns, no restocking. Only five pictures and they don't even have to be good. Yeah, there's lots of pros to it. You don't have to sell it to me. I'm sold already. But yeah. Okay. Right. On okay, that thank note. Thank you all for sticking with us. We're going. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to um, eat my chocolate. Yeah. Mm, I've got some in the fridge that I can eat. Chocolate, anyone? <laughs> I've loads of wrappers in it. Who puts wrappers back in? Well, you're the only one that eats them. So. Me. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we've still got 190 crazy people still watching us. Thank you so much. If you enjoy what you do, please give us a thumbs up. We'll be back on, well, I'll be back with Zaheer on Tuesday yeah. over on Z's channel. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a guest lined up yet for thursday i normally do a thursday show when i'm on z's channel on tuesday you're going to organize something uh maybe perhaps i could talk to Stephen steph about what we're talking you about could, on but thursday. i won't be able to do it because i won't be here okay i don't know if that's going to happen thursday we'll be back next sunday whatever yeah yes Job indeed. Done. have a All good right. week everyone cheers guys bye, bye.